For question 162, the correct option is option number 2. And to show how we get it, let me draw the figure once again, giving you the question. This is an inclined track that is frictionless, a body, suppose of mass m, is sliding down this track, starting from rest, initial height is h, which is the point A, which is the bottom of a vertical circle. And if the length A be diameter of this circle, that is given to be D, capital D that is, you have to find the value of H in terms of D so that this body can complete the vertical circle. So first of all, we shall find the speed acquired by this body at which is the point A. And how do you find that? One method is applying kinematic equation v squared is equal to u squared plus twice a s. Other method is energy method. And let's apply this in my first step. Step number one, principle of conservation of mechanical energy. We assign a number one to the initial position of this body at the top of the incline and assign a number 2 at the bottom of the incline, this point 2 coinciding with the point A. And since there is no friction of the track, the only force doing work during the motion of the body is the conservative force of gravity and therefore we can apply the principle of conservation of mechanical energy between these two points to write down at point 1, at the start of motion, total mechanical energy, which is summation of potential energy and kinetic energy. This must be equal to total mechanical energy at the point 2 is once again the sum of gravitational potential energy U2 and kinetic energy that is K2. If we take a reference plane, a horizontal plane to the bottom of the incline and take a sign rather a potential energy of 0 to the body when it reaches there, at height h above the reference plane, gravitational potential energy of this body is mgh. We assume the mass to be small m for this body. Since starting from rest, initial kinetic energy is 0. Coming to right hand side, which is the bottom, that is reference plane, we assign a potential energy of 0 there. So u2 is 0. And if the speed acquired by the body is v here, at this point 2, kinetic energy is coming out to be half mv squared. From here, if you solve, the value of v is coming out to be simply square root of twice gh. That is my equation number 1. The speed acquired by the body as it reaches the point A, that is the bottom of this vertical circular track. Now in my next step, if you have studied my lecture on example of non-uniform circular motion, we have seen, once the particle reaches this point A, that is the bottom of this vertical circular track, to complete the vertical circle, the normal force at the highest point B can never become negative. That is, the minimum value of normal force is zero at the point B. And accordingly, it can be shown that to complete the vertical circle, the particle must have a minimum speed of square root of 5 gr at this point A. All these things follow in this theory lecture that you must have seen. And you can write it that at the point A, the required minimum speed of the particle should be square root of 5 gr if it has to just complete the circle. Here g is before acceleration, r is the radius of this vertical circle. So that I am calling equation number 2. So once we get it, step number 3 combine equations 1 and 2 and write from there that square root of 2gh has to be equal to square root of 5gr if this particular body, whatever you call it, it has to just complete this vertical circle. And then squaring both sides, we are getting 2gh is equal to 5gr. The g is cancelling out. h is coming out to be 
5 r by 2 but since r is d by 2 isn't it diameter is d so r is d by 2 is coming out to be 5 d by 4 and our choice is option number 2 so you have got the height required for the inclined plane and also the correct option is 2 that is the end